Let's learn how to make images for social media ads in PicMonkey using our design themes. You can create the visual in PicMonkey, then export it directly to Facebook Ads Manager. Erin will show us how. So to get started, we'll say create new and we'll look at these blank canvases. We'll see that we have pre-sized Facebook and Instagram ads. I'm gonna click on Instagram ad, or Facebook ad this time. I'm just gonna go through some of our aesthetic themes. They're a great jumping off point to get you started in some different styles and assets that go well together. So you spend less time designing and more time just getting your information out there. So this one is called brush and burnish. You'll see eat burnish. You'll see text, textures, effects, graphics, and templates, everything all pre-laid out to you, things that go well together. Here's another one, retrostatic, totally different look and feel, but everything goes together very well. I'm gonna choose light and airy as my aesthetic theme that I'm gonna base this Facebook design off of. I really like this one right here. What I like is that it has this image and this image that I can play around with, but it already has a good layout. It has copy that I can just slightly adjust. So to get started, I want to add a texture to this image just to kind of see what it'll look like. This film noise texture is pretty cool because it just gives the image a little bit of a grain. When you add it at first, it feels like there's a lot going on, but what you're gonna have to do is just change the blend mode. So depending on the photo, each blend mode will look slightly differently. I'm gonna pick one that makes it look a little bit brighter. I'm gonna choose overlay, then I'm gonna bring the fade way down. So the texture is a lot more subtle. I'm gonna do that also to this image just so that they're similar. So we're doing this one, blend mode, overlay, fade, down. Okay, now I'm gonna make this look more in line with my brand. And I think that this text looks a little bit more in line with, my, with the look I'm going for. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger, and now I'm feeling like maybe this image is a little too crowded in. So, I wanna make it a little bit smaller. There's two ways you can do that. I can either have my image selected and then go over here and select Crop. From there, I can bring things in and make the image bigger within the frame that I've created. That's one way you can do it. Or, a super easy way is just double click and that does exactly what that crop button did. So I'm just gonna extend that image out a little. Now that I like the placement, I can make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to change this image to be something more in line with my brand. So I'm just gonna, I have that selected. I'm gonna say replace image. I'm gonna go to my computer where I've saved it. There's my image. And what's great about this um, film noise texture is that it carried along the same exact texture when I changed out the image. I'm just gonna flip the image so that they're facing the words. I double clicked, just like I showed earlier. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger so you can see their clothes a little bit better. Now that this is all done, I want to share it in the Facebook Ads Manager. I can do that right from the editor. I don't. I could download it and do it separately, but the easiest way is just click Share, then Facebook Ads Manager, and if it's connected to your Facebook account, it'll go straight to there. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Erin. Check out a lot more tutorials at PicMonkey.com.